Hey guys, hello and welcome to another tutorial from 99bitcoins and in today's video we want to talk to you about how you can make money from Bitcoin faucets. Now for those of you who don't know what Bitcoin faucets are, they're basically websites that give out a small amount of bits, uh, bitcoins uh, every few minutes. So for example, you can see here on the screen, this is 99bitcoins faucet, it's called Millie. And in this website, if you scroll down here, you basically enter your Bitcoin address and you fill in the CAPTCHA. And once you fill in the CAPTCHA, you can click on Claim Coins and it will send you anywhere between, you can see it says here, 100 to 1,000 Satoshis every five minutes. So it does a random raffle and you get a, a random amount. For example, let's say you got 300 Satoshis and then you have to wait five minutes and you can claim again. Now, a lot of people like these sites because they send out mini payments, but the thing is that you can't make a substantial amount of money by actually going through faucets and claiming money. The good way to make money with Bitcoin faucets is actually by owning a faucet. You see faucets make their money or faucet owners make their money by placing ads on the website. And then you send out small amounts of Satoshis to user, but you get back uh, money in the form of ads. So if, for example, you see here there is Google AdSense ads and here are another ads from CoinAd, which is a Bitcoin network. And what I want to teach you in this tutorial is basically how to create your own Bitcoin faucet. So you won't have to go uh, to different faucets and try to claim small amounts of money, but rather you can own your own faucet learn how to bring traffic to it and how to monetize it, meaning how to make money from it, and then making m uh, much larger amounts of money. Just so you can get an idea of how much money can be made. This is my AdSense earnings from Millie alone, you can see here, uh, for the last 30 days. And as you can see, this is updated to January uh, 30, 2016. In the last 30 days, these, this is um, revenue, I made $663. Now the expenses around the 30s were around $200 that I paid out in uh, Bitcoins to users. So you can see there's a profit of around $400, which is pretty nice um, passive income, so to speak. So in this uh, really um, detailed video, what I'm going to teach you is first of all, how to set up your own faucet, which is what we're going to do next. After I teach you how to set up your own faucet, I'm gonna teach you how to bring traffic to your faucet and then how to make money from that traffic and if we have time, I'm going to also show you how you can kind of protect your faucet from scammers. Um, and it's good to know that if you don't like the video version, if you want to see a text version, you can just head on to 99bitcoins and you have what's known as the complete beginner's guide to making money from Bitcoin faucets. And this is basically this whole video just in text and you can go over it in your own time and see exactly step by step. But if you want the video version, just stick on this video and let's begin and start to build our own Bitcoin faucet. Okay guys, so let's get straight to building our own Bitcoin faucet. We're going to use a company called faucetbox.com to create our faucet. Now I'm gonna keep things very simple, very non-technical. You don't have to be a developer or know how to code in order to create your faucet. Um, the only thing you need is to kinda have a basic understanding of how the internet works. But if you still have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comment section below or email me through 99bitcoins. So this is faucetbox.com and it's gonna help us manage our faucet and send the Bitcoins out to our faucet users. It's also going to give us the script to create our Bitcoin faucet. So if you go to faucetbox.com, down here you have something called faucet in a box, which is basically the script for the Bitcoin faucet. So you can either click this or just go to faucetinabox.com and you'll arrive at this web page, which basically gives you the script for the faucet. You click on install now and you'll download the faucet script down here. Now in order to put this script online and into our website, we're going to need two things. One is a domain name, which you may already have. Uh, and the other one is basically a hosting plan. Now, when it comes to hosting, you can either use your own hosting, which you already have, or if you don't have, I recommend either using Bluehost or HostGator. The reason being is that they are the cheapest hosting available, and since you're just starting out, you don't need a really robust hosting service. So you can just try it out with a cheap hosting and then move on to a different hosting later on if you want to. Now, I've also included a coupon code for HostGator down in the description to, for this video. So it will kind of give you some of the price of the, the original hosting, so you can use that. But keep in mind that if you use HostGator, you may use the coupon, but if you use Bluehost, they give you a free domain name when you sign up. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. If you don't have a domain name, I say just going for Bluehost and just getting the domain name with the hosting package. If you do have a domain name, just go with HostGator. Maybe you can get it for a cheaper price or just compare uh, the two with um, um, and see whoever you like best. In this tutorial, I'm mainly going to focus on Bluehost, but I am going to show you how it's done on Bluehost and on HostGator uh, in parallel. So don't, don't be alarmed. If you're using HostGator, it'll be uh, all right as well. And most of the hosting services have the same options. So even if you're using a different hosting service, which I haven't mentioned here, 
um, then you will probably be able to kind of copy what I'm doing here to your existing hosting service because most of them have the same interface more or less. So for example, this is Bluehost and this is what I'm going to be using. And we have also HostGator here. Um, so you can see they have some sort of um, promotion going on right now, which is uh, really cheap. It's starting at 278 per month. But again, this is usually for the long-term packages. So if you sign up for three years, you'll get it in 278. Um, we don't want to sign up for a long term. We want to try to keep it as short as term as possible because uh, you might find out that managing a faucet isn't for you or you don't want to do it. So you don't want to kind of commit in advance. But again, keep in mind that most of these hosting providers will give you a refund if you don't use the whole term of the hosting. So whatever you, um, you feel is good for you. Uh, here is Bluehost. You can just click on Get Started Now. And again, I put the link to Bluehost uh, in the description of this video. And here you have the packages. We're going to go with the basic package. Um, as you can see, we don't need a lot of stuff here. We're just one website. 50 gigabytes of website space is more than what we'll need. Um, and and it includes one domain, free domain. So I'm going to select this. And then it's going to ask me for my free domain name. So I'm going to write here, for example, um, myawesomefaucet.com and this is going to be our domain for this tutorial. So on this page you're going to have to enter your um, first name, last name, all of your details basically and your package information. Uh, keep in mind you only need the basic plan so you might want to put it on a 12 month price for $5.95 per month and there's no need for all of the add-ons here, no domain privacy protection, no site backup, our site lock, it's at least not at this point. If you want to up upgrade them later on, you can do it. But for now, just um, the, um, as the minimal amount possible you can spend so you can test this out. And of course, enter your billing information. So I'm going to fill this out. You should do so as well, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so about five minutes after you register, you should receive an email confirming your registration. Now, you can see that it may fall inside your promotion folder or even your spam folder, so make sure to look in there if you can't see it. See, it says Bluehost, welcome to Bluehost, myawesomefaucet.com. And you click on this, and basically the next thing you want to do is set, uh, you have here your account information, and you want to set your password. So click on change password, and set a password for your account, um, and then we'll continue to the next step. So right now I'm going to send my password, and I'll see you in a second. So once you set up your password, you're going to be brought into a screen that looks something like this, might be a bit different. But anyway, you just need to make sure that you have this top bar here where it says uh, home, CPAN, performance, all of that stuff. By the way, if you're using HostGator, it's going to look a bit different, but I'm going to show you in a second how it looks on HostGator. And what I like about Bluehost is that since you already get a domain name, if I go to myawesomefaucet.com, I already see, this is by the way, myawesomefaucet.com, I already see that it's uh, connected to Bluehost. So I don't have to connect up the domain name, which is sometimes can be a bit of a hassle. So I'm all good to, to go and I'm ready to create my faucet. So what I, I want you to do is inside Bluehost, go into the place where it says databases and you're going to create a database for your faucet. It might sound complicated, but it not, it's not so. So let's see how we do it. It logs you in automatically. And if it doesn't log you, you can just click uh, on that button. But here now we are in MySQL databases and we're going to create a new database for our faucet. So all you need to do is to create a database and a user for that database. That's all you need to do. You don't need to understand what it is. That's just two small op actions. I'll show you right now how to do them. So the new database, we're going to give it a name. We'll call it um, Awesome Faucet. That will be the name of the database. And we're going to click on Create Database. So that's the first step. That, that's all there is to it. We created the database, and this is the name of the, beta, the database. My Awesome P4 uh, underscore Awesome Faucet. That's how the data database is called. Now we click on Go Back, and we need to create a user for that database. So scrolling down here, you see MySQL users. We're going to add a new user. I'm going to give it the name of faucet user, just that's, you can give it the same name if you want. Oh, I see there's a limit here, so I'm just going to give it the name faucet um, and give it some sort of a password. So I'm going to use the password generator to generate a password for me. And I'm going to copy this um, and click on use password. And as you can see, it auto populates the password here. I'm going to click on create user. So now we already have a user for our database as well. So I'm going to click on go back. And the last thing we need to do is connect that user with that database. So down here, you go to add user to database and you see that you're selected on your user. Um, so this is our user faucet and this is our database, my, uh, uh, sorry, awesome faucet. And you just click on add. And now basically it's gonna ask us what privilege we wanna give to that user. So we click on all privileges 
and make changes and basically that's it we go back and we see that our user which is this is his name is connected to our awesome faucet um, so that's it basically what you need to do inside the hosting panel and uh, now let me go for a second and show you how it looks on HostGator so shortly on HostGator it, the cPanel might look a bit different but the actions are the same here under hosting we have databases so I'm clicking on this and I get to this page and I click on create a new database and from here on it's basically the same you create a database you give it a name you create a user you give it all the privileges and you just see that these users are connected so right here you see the database name can be um, awesome faucet same thing we did as before click on next it's gonna ask us to create a user so the username is going to be faucet and a specific password and create user and we get to this um, all privilege uh, screen which we also saw before so as you can see maybe it looks a bit different but the bottom line is the same so just make sure you have a database the database name you have a user and you have a password for that user because that's the three things we're going to need to create a faucet and I'll see you in a second so now what you want to do is incorporate the database name user and password into the faucet in a box file we downloaded before now if you remember I asked you to go to faucetinabox.com and click on install now and then it will download you the files you need in order to create your faucet so if you haven't done so do this now go to faucetinabox.com and download this file and just unpack it and what you'll be able to see is the following basically you'll see a config.php file an index.php file and these two folders what we need to do is open the config.php file with just any text editor you have it could be normal text edit I'm using TextMate and you'll see basically this page and now what you want to do is just change these three lines where it says DB user enter the username where it says DB pass enter the user password and where it says DB name enter the database name so I'm gonna do this just one by one right now and I'm gonna go for example back to Bluehost and I'm gonna take the name of my user and copy it and then back into the text editor and put this in the DB user and then do the same thing for the database name and put it here under DB name and last but not least the password taking this password putting it here and saving the file so now what I have is basically an updated config PHP file with all of my database information now what you need to do is take all of these files and upload them into your web server so to upload files into your server you're going to need to use um, something called an FTP client basically a file transfer protocol client or a software that connects your computer to your server uh, I suggest using something called FileZilla it's a free FTP client it's very good and I'm going to explain to you right now how you can use it to upload the files so once you download the FTP client you also need to create an FTP account in one of your hosting providers so let me show you how you can do this on Bluehost okay so in order to create an FTP account just go here to FTP um, and you enter here your username which you want it could be admin for example and it will be admin at myawesomefaucet.com and enter a password and here under directory you just need to enter public underscore HTML which is the public directory and click on create FTP account I already did that and you can see here is my username admin at myawesomefaucet.com and now what you want to do is basically download a program that will uh, connect your computer with the server which is also known as FTP client I'm using a program called FileZilla which is free and highly recommended and if you click here on configure FTP client you'll see your FTP details so now I go and I open up FileZilla and I'm gonna enter these details inside FileZilla I'm gonna click here uh, I have something called site manager and I'm gonna create my awesome faucet which is what you see here and I'm gonna enter these details here inside FileZilla so I go here and I take the FTP and I copy it and I put it here as the host and the port is 21 and the username is admin awesome faucet and the password I've already entered before I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna click on connect and now you see it's verifying everything and it asks me to, if I want to trust this server and I click on OK and in a minute you'll see down here um, the directories of the website okay now you can see here the files 
and what I want to do is drag and drop the files inside this place. So I go here, I take these four files and I just drag and drop them inside here. And now they're going to be copied into the web server. You can see here the queued file. So I'm going to let this run and I'll see you in a second once this finishes. Um, it will continue the tutorial. Okay guys, so if you did everything okay up until this point, the good news is that the hard part is over. What you need to do now is to go to your actual website. So what you're seeing here is myawesomefaucet.com. If you're not seeing this, then you probably did something wrong along the way and you need to either contact your hosting provider and ask them what's wrong or maybe retrace your steps and see maybe you did something wrong along the way. Um, if you are moving from an existing domain and not buying the domain like we did with Bluehost, then it might be a problem of a D what something is called a DNS, meaning the domain takes time to propagate and to move across different servers around the web and this can take up to 48 hours. But again, if you're not sure what's happening, either write a comment in the comment section below or contact your hosting support. If you did everything okay, you should see a screen that looks something like this, um, either showing your password or telling you click here to see your password. This is a very important password, it's the password to your faucet, so again I'm going to take this and just uh, copy it here under admin password and I'm going to click here to continue. Uh, now it's going to ask me to enter the password it just showed me, so I'm going to paste this here and click on login. And now what we're going to see is basically our faucet dashboard. So here is our faucet dashboard, now it's time to set up our faucet. Now, the dashboard for the faucet is pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward. We're going to show you only the basic functions uh, right now. You see you have the faucet name, so we can call this My Awesome Faucet. And you can give a short description. This is a test faucet. This is, this is going to show up on the site, you can uh, tell it whatever you want. Now the important thing to get through here is the faucet box API keys. You need to have a faucet box account. Now I'm going to switch a second uh, back to faucet box. If you remember, we told uh, I told you that faucet box is the um, the website that helps you manage the faucet. So in order to get started with faucet box, you basically need to manage. Click here on manage faucets uh, and create your first faucet. So go ahead, open your faucet box account, uh, and I'll see you on the other side once you finish to do so. Basically, just entering your username, your faucet name. Uh, password stuff like that and clicking the terms of service. So I'll see you shortly after you finish this form Okay, so once you created uh, your faucet box account, you should be seeing uh, a screen something like this This is my existing faucet box account So it's not your account I just created and here you can see my different faucets You can see the balance I have for example here. I have the balance you, you have for uh, various uh, cryptocurrencies You have Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, Peercoin, and all that kind of stuff. I'm currently using only a uh, Bitcoin um, some statistics on your faucets. So for example here if I go to statistics I'll be able to see statistics about the payouts in the past month. So here you can see for example the average payouts in the last seven days, my balance, the estimate time uh, days left before I hit bankruptcy, uh, and specific statistics on different currencies. Uh, here normal payouts in the last month. Uh, this is seven days, this is the last month, number of users, number of payouts, and so and so. But in order to create your faucet, go to the Your Faucets tab and click on Create New Faucet. And here it's going to ask you for the faucet name, so I'm going to call this My Awesome Faucet. And click on Add Faucet. And what we want to do is to get the API keys. You see here it says Your API Keys. You click here on Show API Keys. And this is the API key. I'm just going to copy this and paste it here inside this text box where it says Faucet Box API Keys. Another thing you need to do is to um, decide on the cryptocurrency of the faucet. We're going to go with Bitcoin. You have all these options here. The timer in minutes, how much time uh, between each, um, uh, how much time before you can claim, reclaim basically another batch of Satoshis. I'm going to put this to, um, let's say, 30 minutes to begin with. Uh, referral earnings. Basically, faucet works on referrals, meaning you can get people to bring you other visitors to your faucet, but then you're going to have to pay them a referral commission out of these people's payouts. So for example, let's say I come to the faucet and I get 100 Satoshis and I say, oh, that's cool. Let me bring a friend of mine. I send them my referral link. If that friend comes in and claim uh, their Satoshis as well, I get paid a referral fee. If it's 15%, I'll get 15 Satoshis for bringing them in. So let's leave this on 15% for now. Um, you can also set a timer for the get reward button, meaning having it delayed so people won't be able to claim just straight away but having to wait a few seconds it's kind of a trick to keep people on site I don't like using that but just for the sake of example I'll put this on five so you can see how it looks and now the interesting interesting part the rewards so here you're basically gonna choose how many Satoshis um, 
um, a visitor gets each time they claim it. You have here the percent to win any chance and the amount. Let's do, let's add some more rewards. Let's do this anywhere between 100 to 1000. And you see, once I add more items, it tells me that uh, the, that the chance in percent doesn't add up to 100. So I'm going to change this in a second. And we're going to give it, um, let's say, 60% to win 100, and then 20% to win 500, and then 15% um, to win 700, and 5% to win 1000. And I'm going to click Save Changes. OK, so once you click on Save Changes, so just one more thing we need to do to get the faucet active is scroll back up here and go to the Capture tab. We're going to set up the capture for our faucet so that people can't abuse and drain our faucet dry. So click on CAPTCHA and here you can have an option to choose which CAPTCHA service you want to use. Uh, I don't know what are the difference between them. I've been using Fun CAPTCHA up until now. Today I actually got an email telling me that they want me to pay probably due to the amount of traffic that I'm getting in so I might be changing from them. Uh, but just for this um, specific example I'm going to use Solve Media. Uh, so what you want to do is actually click on the specific capture you're using on the button here, turn on this capture. So for example, if I'm using Solve Me, I, this one is uh, ticked on. You see, for example, I just go like this and tick it on. And you want to click on Get Your Keys Here. So you click on Get Your Keys Here and it will move you to the Solve Media website. Now either you're logged in like I am, uh, this is what you're going to see, or if you're not logged in, basically you just need to go and create your account, takes two seconds, fill up a form, click on a confirmation email, and then once you're logged in, you just go to Configure Insights, and you click on add my site. Now I already added my site. You can see it here, my site, myawesomefaucet.com. So all you need to do now is click on keys and just copy these three keys from here where it says, you see this is the public key, this is the private key, and this is the authentication hash. Copy them from here into here. You see this is the challenge key is the first key, the verification key is the second one, and the authentication key is the last one. Once you do that, you just click on save changes again. And basically now your faucet is all ready to go. So if you go to myawesomefaucet.com uh, and we refresh the page, you'll see that this is what we see right now. We have the balance of the faucet, the percentage to win, a place where people can insert their addresses, and the get reward button, which I didn't know, don't know if you were able to see it, but it has a timer of five seconds till you can claim. So let me just show you this again. Uh, once I refresh the page, you see it counts down from five to one uh, to zero until you can claim. So I'm going to put in my address here and <clears throat> now I'm going to enter the CAPTCHA and click on Get Reward and let's see if it works. And yes, you see I got 100 Satoshis on FaucetBox. Now one final thing, how FaucetBox works is that these Satoshis aren't going to get uh, sent straight into my, um, my address, they're going to be accumulated on FaucetBox. And once they reach the minimum, uh, basically, then they're going to FastBox is going to send them to my account. So you can click on this link uh, to check your address. And if I check my address here right now, you see these are all statistics on that address I just showed you, for example. So here are the payment histories. You see I got some uh, satoshis from Wheelie. This is uh, this is the hundred satoshis I got today from uh, my awesome uh, faucet. And once this reaches the minimum, which is I think here you can set the minimum to at least 13,000 Satoshis, it's gonna send it to my address. So if you don't understand why it's not being sent to your address, you probably didn't hit the minimum yet. Uh, here you have the referral uh, address. So basically it's myawesomefaucet.com uh, slash question mark arg and then just giving your own address. So if you want to bring people to your faucet with this, just um, use this address and it will bring you referral commissions. So that's basically it. Your faucet is now up and running. I'm just going to go, you, go over uh, a few more things you might want to do with your faucet in order to monetize it and bring traffic, and we're almost done. So a few final things before we conclude. First of all, you need to fund your faucet. It's not going to send out uh, Satoshis out of thin air. So here, depending on the currency you checked, you need to go to your faucet box dashboard and under balance, um, basically activate the relevant currency. So you see right now I have Bitcoin activated. Um, I don't have Litecoin activated and if I wanted to I could need to click this on activate and then you'll get a deposit address. Now this is the deposit address for basically all of your faucet boxed faucets that are going to send out bitcoins. So for example I'm running Milli and my asset awesome faucet. The, this is um, a joint balance for both of them um, and either one of the faucets can use it. So you're going to get a deposit address and you'll need to deposit money into this. You can see the minimal deposit here 
And of course, FaucetBox isn't a free service. They take a fee for sending out um, the millis to all the uh, Satoshi, sorry, to all of the users and taking care of referral fees and all of that. So you can see their fee here is 2.5% for Bitcoin. So if you send um, one Bitcoin, basically 2.5% out of that is going to be deducted as their fee. Uh, it takes, it could take up to an hour or two for the deposit to be updated here. So don't be alarmed if you send your money into this deposit and you, you see it's still on zero. Give it an, an hour or two because I remember the first time I deposited, I was kind of uh, skeptical and seeing that the money is being, being deposited. So I've been working for, with these guys for I think like four months now and they seem pretty reliable. They take a bit of time to answer a support request, but they're pretty reliable. Uh, so no need to worry about that. So once you have your balance and we set everything up, the faucet is already up and running. Now what you want to do is maybe customize your faucet a bit. So here I am again at uh, myawesomefaucet.com dashboard and if you ever want to go back to this dashboard all you need to do is basically go um, put this URL inside here you see just put here uh, slash question mark p equals admin and you'll be um, directed back into this uh, dashboard so now what I'm going to show you is basically how I um, customize the faucet so if I go here to templates I can choose uh, different templates for the faucet and if for example I change the uh, the space rocket and I click on save changes you'll see I go and refresh the faucet and we'll see how it looks you see now it looks like this so it's a bit different and you have also um, the the base um, template here but I'm gonna just leave it on default for now the reason I leave it on default because it has the most customizable options in my opinion you can customize the colors here and you can add here in the top box left box right box and bottom box also footer you can add different codes so what you want to do here is go to Google Adsense and open an account and then take your ad code and put them here either at the top box or the left box or whichever box you see fit uh, I can give you some examples for my faucet Millie which I think uh, the best place is to place the ads is here in the middle and usually use ads that are 336 on 280 uh, the size of them that is what works best for me you see right now we're seeing all of ho the host gator ads just because we visited their site but you see one two three these are the three Google ads I have on my site and this probably works the best you can also take um, ad codes from other networks like coin ad which is which is our these ads and by the way my site is built differently than what you just saw because I used to have a template fast box site but later on as it grew I changed it to kind of look like nine and bitcoin so if you're wondering why does this look like what I just showed you, it's because it's a different template, it's custom coded, um, and it's something you may want to do once you get enough traffic to your site. So that's how you monetize your, um, your faucet, basically by placing ads here in these spots. You have a limitation of up to three Google ads you can place on, an, on a page, so don't go over that or you'll get banned. Um, and you have all sorts of other options here we can use, for example, pages. You can add pages to your, um, to your faucet if you want to add some more content pages. Security, if you've seen someone abusing your faucet, uh, you can basically use this for protection to blacklist IP lists or host name or stuff like that. Um, Manage the same, co same coins and so on. I'm not going to go over all of this because this video is already uh, long enough, but that's basically it. Now you have your faucet created. Now there are two things we haven't talked in detail about yet. One is the how to bring traffic to your faucet. And the other one is how to monetize it, uh, basically how to make money out of it. I just mentioned it like shortly uh, a few seconds ago. But since this video has already been too long and I assume you have a lot on your hands already to go and create your faucet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description of this video to the actual tutorial from 99Bitcoins, the complete beginner's guide to running a Bitcoin faucet. Now this guide is going to explain to you everything I haven't gone over to here regarding uh, traffic and monetization and also it's going to give you a, a monthly updated updates on my faucet milli basically showing how am I doing with milli what works what doesn't work what you should test as well so you're going to have everything you need basically down there if you still have any questions anything that's not clear maybe something specific that you're dealing with with your faucet again feel free to write it in the comment section below or email me uh, through 99 bitcoins contact form and I'll do my best to help you out so hope you enjoy this well it's not short film but <laughs> so enjoy this uh, video about how to create your own faucet and I'm looking forward to seeing you building up your own faucet and I'll see you in the next video.